Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making some delicious salmon cakes and I'm going to be using some fresh salmon. Okay guys, so let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off by using some Obey. Now I did take the skin off, off of both sides. You can get this um, done at your butcher or you can do it yourself. So I'm just going to season my salmon with this. I'm going to make sure that I get it seasoned really well. And you guys definitely want to make sure that both sides are seasoned. And then I'm going to be using some of this lemon pepper. Then I'm going to season that on here too. And you definitely can use as much seasoning as you need to. Um, I'm not going to be using any particular measurements with this recipe as far as the seasoning goes. Because you know everybody has their own opinion of how much seasoning they like on their food. And then I just season that with some garlic powder. Okay, and then I have some onion powder here. I'm gonna season that. And then I have some thyme. And you guys can use whatever kind of seasoning you want on here. You can use all-purpose seasoning. You can use garlic salt. Um, Whatever you want. It's just going to be to your liking. And then I'm seasoning this with some pepper. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to heat my pan up. I'm going to put that on high. And then I'm just using some canola oil. And I'm going to add that to my pan. I'm just going to let that heat up really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to put in some butter. I'm going to add in my salmon to that. See how that is cooking in the pan. See how it looks on the other side. You see how it has that really good brown on it? We're gonna have a lot of flavor. I'm gonna flip this over. Okay, so now that that is done cooking, I'm going to take this and put it in a bowl. Then I'm going to cut up a bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and just chop that up really quickly. So as you can see, I'm just removing the tops off of my bell peppers, and then I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to take out the inside. I'm going to take off the inside on both of those. And then I'm going to slice it in half. And then I'm going to use about a fourth of a bell pepper for each one. 
and I may not even use all of these it just depends on how much is in there when I get to um, making combining the the ingredients together to make the patties and um, just remember that you can definitely use any kind of peppers that you want to you don't have to use red bell peppers if you don't like red bell peppers if you don't like green bell peppers you can use um, pretty much whatever kind of bell pepper that you want to um, I definitely wouldn't skip on the bell peppers just because it does give it a lot of flavor and you don't want to miss out on any flavor so I definitely recommend using some kind of bell pepper they have different techniques on how to peel garlic but I just kind of just cut both the ends off to remove the skin so I'm gonna move that out the way and then you can kind of just cut into big pieces and then do your fine mints. Recommend cutting up the garlic pretty much fine because the finer it is, the more flavor it's going to have throughout the dish. I'm gonna add in my vegetables, my bell peppers to be exact. I'm gonna add in some red onions. I didn't have any white onions, so I just use what I had, but you can use yellow onions, white onions, sweet onions, whatever kind of onions you want to use, you can use that. And then for the seasoning on this, if you want to season every layer, um, I'm just going to use the same seasoning that I used earlier for the salmon. I'm just putting in some lemon pepper and then some garlic powder and some onion powder, some thyme, a little bit of that, some pepper, And then I'm gonna put just a little bit more of that Old Bay seasoning. Now I'm, I'm using a 30% less sodium. So that's kind of watch the sodium in there. And then make sure you cook down your vegetables so you get a really good flavor in that. I'm gonna add in my garlic that and then I'm gonna stir that around we're not gonna cook this down all the way because it's gonna finish cooking while it's you know in the patties so I'm just gonna stir that around just to loosen up the flavor from the garlic and then I'm just gonna take it out the pan Ooh, and that smells so good guys so that looks like it's pretty much done. So I'm just gonna take this off of the heat and add it into the salmon mixture. And then I'm gonna let that cool down. Okay, so now I have my salmon in my bowl and that is cooled off. I'm going to add in my bell pepper. I'm gonna add that in there. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm just gonna break up the salmon. Now you can use a fork. I think I'm gonna get a fork and then I'm just gonna break the salmon up. Um, now I'm just not, I'm not gonna break it up into two little bitty pieces because you wanna have 
really good um, chunks in there. So I'm just gonna break it up ever so slightly. And guys, I will have the ingredients down below just so you guys have something to look at. So you can just um, click on the description tab and I will have the ingredients there. Okay, so next I'm going to add in a little bit of mayo. So that is about, I would say about two tablespoons of mayo. So I'm gonna be using some panko breadcrumbs. You can use any kind of breadcrumbs you want to. So I'm just gonna add some of that to it. That should probably be about a fourth of a cup. So I'm gonna mix that together. I'm adding in a little bit more lemon pepper. Basically the main seasoning. So I'm seasoning like three times. Garlic powder. Um, Old Bay again. Make sure you get a good flavor. Make sure you always taste your food so you know that when it's done cooking, it's going to be when it's done cooking, it's going to taste right. Some parsley. Now that is fresh parsley. And that is about, I would say about a tablespoon of fresh parsley. Then I'm gonna add in a few dashes of hot sauce. So I would say that's about two dashes of hot sauce. Then I'm gonna add in a um, large beaten egg. I just put this in an egg, I beat the egg just to make sure that it um, doesn't, so I don't have to over mix the salmon patties. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to mix this in. And so what I did was I took the bowl and I divided the mixture into four parts so it should make about four large um, patties now if you want to make them smaller um, that's definitely up to you so I'm just going to take that and form it into a ball and then kind of flatten them a little bit I would say that they're about I don't know maybe an inch or a half inch thick I'm not too sure but it should look like that okay so I just heated my pan up I put some butter and some oil in there and then I'm just gonna add in my patties now I'm cooking this kind of on low medium heat because you want it to cook but you don't want it to cook too quickly and you want to make sure you get a good brown on it and you want to make sure that it's cooked all the way but I didn't think I was going to be able to get four in here but looks like I'm going to be able to get four in here so okay so I'm just going to flip these over and they want to be golden brown or it can be you know this brown as well i think kind of like this color is better because it's gonna give it a really good crispy flavor so yeah this looks yummy okay guys so the salmon cakes are done cooking so i'm going to put those on a paper towel to let that grease drain off you always want to make sure you get as much grease drained off because you don't want to be eating all of that excess oil and guys these are my salmon patties oh my gosh guys these look so so delicious 
So I'm going to go ahead and give these a taste. Okay guys, so it is time for the taste test. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit of this lemon on top. And then let's give this a taste. Mmm. <laughs> really really good definitely definitely recommend mm, mm, mm. and the lemon definitely sets it off so if you enjoyed watching this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and guys thank you so much for watching mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you.